Hey there everybody and how are you guys doing today? This is Joe Marring here with Mobile Cup of Joe and if you've owned a smartphone for any period of time I'm sure you've come across some situations where you went to download an application or you got a notification in your phone saying that you need to delete some apps on your phone because you are running out of storage. Well in this video we're going to be going over how to clear up your phone, do a little bit of spring cleaning here in August and figure out just how to get some extra space on your phone to install the updates or download new apps that you do want on your device. But before we go any further, I'll have to ask you one quick thing, and that is to please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. And take a swig from your mobile cup of Joe. First things first, you need to navigate over to your app drawer. This is where we can see all of the apps that are currently installed on your phone. Now think about what apps you use on a daily basis. As a general rule of thumb, games are the applications that take up the most storage, simply for the matter of the fact that they have lots of graphics, lots of levels, whatever the case may be, it's just how things go. And a lot of the times there will be games that come along like Angry Birds or Flappy Bird where they draw a lot of attention, a lot of buzz, so you'll go ahead and download it to see what the craze is all about, play it for maybe a week or two, and then completely forget that you have it on your device. So you now have games sitting on your phone doing absolutely nothing but eating up precious storage. Something else to keep your eyes out for when you're going through the applications you want to delete are applications that you did not install on your phone. These are apps that were preloaded on your phone when you took it out of the box when you bought it, and we here in the tech community refer to these apps as bloat. Bloat apps are just applications that the carriers you bought your phone from, such as Sprint, AT&T, or Verizon, applications that these guys loaded up on the phone and shipped it out with it that you did not install yourself. Now so often these apps are generally things like My Verizon Mobile or My AT&T, or AT&T's driving app, but even carriers like Verizon load up loads of Amazon applications, IMDB, even games like Candy Crush, the list is endless, and most of the time, about 90% of the time, these are applications you are never going to use. So after you look through your application drawer for a bit, you find apps that you aren't using that you did install, or you find blow apps that were pre-installed that you want to get rid of, here's how you do it. Hold down on an app from within your app drawer. From here, you'll see a few options pop up at the top of your screen. If the app can be deleted, all you have to do is drag it up to the uninstall icon at the top of your screen. And that's it. Now along with applications on your device, something else that can eat up a lot of precious storage are photos and videos that you capture from the camera on your phone. Now for this next step, we're going to assume that you already have Google Photos installed on your device. If you do not, simply head on over to the Google Play Store on your Android smartphone, download Google Photos, and then open the app. Once you have the app open, swipe out from the leftmost side of the screen and tap the thing that says Device Folders. This is where you can see all the images and videos that are stored locally on your phone. As you can see, I've taken over 500 pictures and videos on my Nexus 6. Now, open up the folder you want, hold down on the first tile within that folder, and drag your finger all the way down across the screen. Once you do this, tap the three dots in the upper right hand corner, and touch Delete Device Copy. This will delete said images and videos from your phone's storage. Even with them deleted though, you'll still be able to see your memories through the main photos section of the app, as Google automatically backs up all photos and videos the instant they were taken. And guys, that's about it here for this video. If you'd like to see us kick out more of these Average Cup of Joe style videos, uh, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see us keep doing these, and what you'd like to see us cover in the next tutorial. If you have any questions about what I went over in today's video, also feel free to leave that down in the comments below and we'll get you helped out as soon as we possibly can. If you guys did enjoy what you saw here today, I would really appreciate it. If you'd go ahead and click that like button and also the subscribe button to make sure you never miss a video as it's kicked out here on the Mobile Cup of Joe YouTube channel. And to stay in touch with us outside of the YouTube channel, feel free to look us up on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook where we can be found as Mobile Cup of Joe. I've been Joe Mari here, you have been watching Mobile Cup of Joe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.